saving to OneDrive. When you have a workbook complete or you need to close the workbook but you'll definitely need to return to it then you have to save the workbook and on the Mac in Excel there are a couple of different places where you can save this file. The first of these we're going to look at is saving to the OneDrive. When you took out your Office 365 subscription to receive Excel, you would also have been given space on OneDrive. OneDrive is Microsoft's cloud storage space. When you go to the File menu and come down into Save As, you can decide whether you want to save onto your Mac or onto OneDrive. Here you can see that it's defaulting to locations on your own Mac. Down below, however, is a button that will allow you to go to online locations. So if I click on this, you'll see now that it's bringing you on to your OneDrive area. It's giving me the recent folders that I've saved to on my OneDrive. And then here are the list of folders that are currently there. I can create a new folder on my OneDrive here if I want to by clicking New Folder at the bottom. Let's say I want to go into Documents here and this is where I'm going to save this workbook. So within the documents I'm now going to give this workbook a name. So I might for example call this First Quarter. So I've given the workbook a name, it's going onto my cloud storage called OneDrive and it's going into the Documents folder. All I need to do then is press the Save button. By saving something onto your OneDrive, it means that you can access that file from any of your devices. So currently you're working on your Mac, but if you change over to your smartphone, your tablet, your iPad, or a Windows device, you will be able to access this file from there. So anything that you save on your OneDrive, you can then share with your other devices. You can also share this file with others on your OneDrive. Check out our OneDrive course in order to see all of the different things that you can do with files once they're saved to your OneDrive.